Oh man, that the late night in the studio. It's your man just talking about some of the records I'm on here. It's life of producer. Get ready for it. This is my life unscripted. No hype man, no crew. It's your man Travis Cherry. Just in the lab once again talking about some of the uh, records that I've worked on. Some of the artists I've had a chance to really get in the studio and uh, work with. Man, um, <clears throat> talk about a fun record I have that. Still really waiting to see what it's gonna do, but I think it's it's definitely the right record for um the artist. It's a record that's leaked out called uh Act a Donkey by Cisco. Um that record actually came together really in a funny, funny way. Um I had this beat, it's really weird that I was working on. Like I was going through some presets in a plugin called Quadracid. Um, if you know me, you know I produce everything inside of Pro Tools. And uh, there's a plugin that ReFX has called Quadracid. And there's a preset called Wacky Synth. Um, so I was playing around with it just just because it's, it's got such a weird, weird sound. And I, I had this going. <laughs> I started kind of messing around with that. Um, didn't know where it was going to go. And, uh, you know, I just started kind of just messing with the beat and ended up coming with this club track. was uh kind of coming with that and I let it rock you know I just left it open to rock for the vocal <laughs> so you know that uh that was kind of where I was at with the beat I just want to have a little fun with it and uh I ended up getting with a writer friend of mine named Khalif real great dude great dude sick sick writer um and uh he wrote this record called Act a Donkey, and it ended up uh, being a situation where we really weren't sure who could really pull it off, but I was like, you know what, R. Kelly would probably be the illest on it, because he'll talk about something like that, like just straight up, just wilding in the club, just act the ass, you know, just wild out. And uh, he was like, well, you know, I'm also friends with uh, Cisco's manager, um, he used to manage me, um, I want to send it to him and see what he thinks. And, he, you know, I was like, okay, cool. I mean, you know, you never know what could happen. It's just one of them things that just, you never know. So <clears throat> he sent it, and uh, Cisco actually loved the record and cut it. And uh, he actually came with, uh, he came with the swag that it needed to have uh, to pull off the record. So and we end up, uh, after he sent me the vocals back and I started mixing it, we ended up with uh, this. So, you know, that's how that, that record came together. And uh, we're still waiting to see what's what's going to happen. But I really, really, you know, really love that record. Really love the opportunity of working with Dude. So I definitely can't complain. So that's just another one of those records that you get to hear about the behind the scenes on what a lot of craziness. I know some of my records, you know, it has a longer story to it. But this was one that was kind of just a simple process. Not really, not really special. It's just, you know, getting the right person to give the artist the record and, you know, the right artist jumping on the record and you get a chance to make magic with it. So definitely hit Cisco up on Facebook, hit him up on his Twitter, you know, and uh, hit me up, Travis Sherry. You can check it on Wikipedia. Check me on uh, 
I mean, Google me, check me on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. I'm around, not hard to find at all. And uh, that's another episode of Life of a Producer, Behind the Beats, Cisco, Act the Donkey. Now you know.